boys and girls, it's Miss Carol, and it's story time again. Last week, Miss Carol Lindhorn read to you. This week, I'll be reading to you. The last time, if you recall, I read to you out of God is My Friend. You remember there were stories on each page, and we went through half the book? Well, tonight, I'd like to read the second half of the book. So if you're ready, I'm ready to read. Our first story is called Friends Stay in Touch. Here's the picture. I'll show you that right off the back. As you know, sometimes Miss Carol forgets to show you the picture. All right. Friends Stay in Touch. You can connect with God anytime, anywhere. It's like talking on a wireless phone, except there's no limit to the minutes you can talk. It's free. God always has time to listen to you. You can tell God about your day or about something exciting coming up. You can tell God if you're mad or sad or scared. You can tell God whatever is on your mind and God will understand. God will answer you too. Not by leaving a message on your answering machine, but by speaking to your heart. Oh, that, that was a good one, right, boys and girls? <gasps> Here's the next one. It says what? Can you read it? It says a friend helps you. So here it is. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that big, he's going down that big water slide. <gasps> well, let's find out what this is going to be about. Call on God if you need anything. You can ask your friend to help you do better in math. Or be brave enough to go down the big water slide? When you have to do anything hard, God can help you to find the power inside you. God often helps in surprising ways. Maybe a new idea about how to solve a problem will just pop into your head. Or maybe God will have another person help you. Like if your sister helps you, you look for your lost library book. Sometimes God just hugs your heart and makes you feel better. Isn't that true, boys and girls? It, it really is true. Oh, here's another one. This one's called To Help Your Friend. And here's the picture. Do you see it, boys and girls? Oh, that one little girl looks like she's on crutches, huh? When she must have hurt her foot. Oh, let's see what this is about. You help your friend. God is so nice to us. It makes us want to be nice to other people. And God needs our help to make the world a better place. You can be God's eyes to see when a classmate needs help carrying her lunch tray. You can be God's ears to listen when a friend is upset. You can be God's voice to speak up for someone who is afraid. And you can be God's hands to share with a person who doesn't have as much as you. Well, that's what that picture was. That little girl was helping her classmate with her lunch tray because she had crutches. She had to hold on to the crutches. She couldn't carry her lunch tray. And that was a very nice thing for her to do. Going to a friend's party. Oh, my. Look at Look at, they're all singing. Oh, let's see what this is going to be about. Going to a friend's party. It's so much fun to go to a party at a friend's house. There are often special decorations, food, and drinks. There may be gifts and games, candles, and singing. We get to meet our friend's family and maybe even hear some favorite family stories. When our parents take us to a worship service, it's like going to a party at God's house. The people around us are God's family. There are candles and flowers or other special decorations. We often eat, drink, sing, and pray. We listen to stories about God from the holy books of our faith, and we give God the gift of our hearts. Oh, that was lovely. 
I know you have been into worship uh, in the big sanctuary at church. Sometimes we do our Christmas programs in there, don't we? And people, and we are all singing and praying together. And it's like a party because it's God's house. Here's our next story. When a friend seems far away. There's the picture there. Oh, that little boy seems quite sad. Let's find out why. Sometimes God can seem far away. If your cat gets hit by a car or your grandpa is very sick, it might seem like God doesn't care. You may feel sad and alone. You might even be mad at God, but that's okay. It's normal to feel mad when something in your life is all messed up. Not even the smartest people in the world understand why bad things happen sometimes. We do know that when we are sad, God is sad too. God holds us the closest when we hurt the most. Yeah, remember, I always tell you, boys and girls, God is with us every day. I always say every minute. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day. Yeah, God is with us even when we're sad. Oh, here's a good one. A friend forgives. Uh-oh, let's look at those pictures. Can you see them? Oh, that first one. He looks like he's not happy. He looks like he's throwing the pieces of, of the game around. Oh, he looks like he got mad. Let's see what it's about. Sometimes we do things that hurt our best friend. If you tease your little brother, that hurts God because God loves your little brother too, or little sister. Tell your little brother you're sorry if you messed up something that belongs to him. Try to fix it or get him a new one. Tell God you're sorry too. God will always forgive you and love you no matter what. So I think what happened was there he did mess up he messed up his brother's game and it made his brother sad. So what did he do? He helped pick up all the pieces to make it better again. That's what we do. And his little brother, he was grateful that his older brother did that. Oh, look at their jumping in potato sacks. Have you ever done that, boys and girls? It's so fun. Yeah, sometimes they have relay races, and that's what you do. You go in a potato sack and you jump. I bet you'd all be really good at that. Here's our last story, and it's called Best Friends Forever. Each of us has a special spark of godness inside us. This spark makes us want to be close to God and to be like God. When you are kind to others, you are acting out of godness of your heart. When you enjoy food and friends and fun at a picnic, you are enjoying the godness of creation. Remember, right inside you, deep inside you, all around you, God surrounds you. God is always with you. He's your best friend forever and ever without end. Oh, these were wonderful stories, weren't they, boys and girls? Well, I hope you're having a good week. We're in December already, and what's coming up shortly in a couple of weeks? Yep, Christmas. And do you remember what happens on Christmas? Yeah, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. So, until the next time I read a story, I hope you have a wonderful week. And remember, God loves you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. And as I always close, what do I say to you? I do. I say blessings to you all. Bye, boys and girls. Until the next time.